Hello everyone, Atox back here with my video. I know I've been absent for quite a bit, I do apologize. I've been working on my other channel, Login, which is my gaming channel. I'll leave a, description, a link to that in the description below. And also with the new deck list I'm coming out with. So today I am bringing you Jota, Archmage Eternal, 1, Jeskai or Blue, Red and White for Legendary Creature, Human Wizard. Flying, you may, you may pay Wooburg, which is white, blue, black, red, or and green, rather than paying the mana cost for that spell that you cast. He's also a 4-3. So, what are we doing with this deck? Are we doing big creatures, the Eldrazi? No. We're doing something a lot better. Pure chaos. I personally don't think Jota is the best chaos commander that does go to Norn the Weary, which I do think it is the best deck or the best commander. But, having that said, what is Chaos? What is it? Chaos is a rule zero. You have to say, like, oh, by the way, I'm playing Chaos. Is that right with, every or, or right with everyone? If you don't, things can get uh, iffy with everyone. So, what is Chaos? The Chaos deck archetype is somewhat unique to multiplayer games of Magic. These decks are built with... The goal not to necessarily win as quickly as possible, but to create as confusing or complex of a board state as possible. These archetypes may, may not be used to used by the pilot to specific, specifically to disrupt powerful opponents by adding elements of chaos and unpredictability to the game, which their own deck is better able to navigate or may simply seek to create unexpected and unique unique get the hell out of your fly unique board states that rarely exist in other games of magic. Okay, fly. Oh, that's the thing of dust. Get out there. So, this deck is just to be complete chaos and BS. That's all it is meant to be. So, there are 17 creatures in here. Let's go with those real fast. First of Paradise, Drainer of Adept, Averna, Chaos Bloom, Dryard of Elysian Grove, Fate Spinner, Braid, Conjure Adept, Idris, Maelstrom Wielder, Imnodi, Celebrant of Bounty, Maelstrom Archangel, Plexing, Samara, Holly, Primal Storm, Igma Sphinx, Nixpool Ancient, Maelstrom Wonder, Bringer of the Blue Dawn, Apex Devastator, and Primal Spawn. So these deck, this deck, these creatures aren't much besides Birds, Birds of Paradise that allow you to tap for one mana, Joiner of Adept, Landing Control have tap one mana to. Sorry, add one mana of any color to, to your mana pool. Then we have a bunch of Cascade stuff, like the Ch Chaos Bloom, Maelstrom Wielder, Archangel, Igma, Sphinx, Maelstrom Wanderer. Then we have extra card draw with Bringer of the Blue Dawn. Basically, if you're able to get Jota and one of each land or color, you're fine. We do have two Planeswalkers, Lord Wing Grace to bring your lands back, and Ren and Seven. Which I personally just like for the zero ability. You may put any number of lands from your hand on the battlefield taps. So, before I go on, technically this does have a waiting condition just instead of being straight pure chaos. It is just the gate combo, or for those who don't know who that is, it is Maze's End, which is Maze's End as battlefield tapped. Tap it for one Carlos Man or three. Tap it, return Maze's End owner's hand. Search your library for gate card. Put it into the battlefield and shuffle your library. If you control 10 or more gates with different names, you win the game. There are 22 spells in the deck. Source of Plowshare, Far Seek, Rampant Grove, Chaos Warp, Chef's Kiss, Cultivate, Kodama's Reach, The Last One Standing, Puppet's Verdict, Wrong Turn, Unexpected Results, Chaos Station, Elliot Auction, Culture Exchange, Whims of the Fates, Cruel Entertainment, Over the Top, Thieves Auction, Crumbleverse, which is probably my favorite favorites Chaos card. It's Crumbleverse. Six double red. For each non-land permit, choose a play at random. Then each player gains control of each permit for which he or she was chosen. Untap those permits. Hey, when KS calls, it doesn't matter. You will answer no matter what. Warp World, The Great Aurora, and World Fire, which was unbanned quite, quite a bit ago, I believe. Then the 12 artifacts, Fix of Pan 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 Pandemonian, whatever it is. English is hard, leave me alone. Jinxed Choker, Sands of Time, Teferi's Puzzle Box, Wand of Wonder, Eon Hub, Naked Singularity, 
which is just a funny card. Naked Singularity, three. Cumulative Upkeep, pay three each turn, three, six, nine, so on and so forth. Instead of their normal mana, Plains produce red, Islands produce green, Swamps produce yellow, or white. Why did I say yellow? I don't know. Mountains produce blue, and Forests produce black, which is a perfect card for Chaos. Number one, it's post-editing Atox. Just want to let you know, I did forget to mention, if you do not pay the cumulative upkeep, which is 3, 6, 9, so on and so forth, you will have to sacrifice it. I do love the old Chaos deck simply because they have to, they make you search in the deep, deepest parts of archives of the Magic card history, because a lot of these cards aren't made anymore, or they're either really old or on the reserve list. But just to let you know, that's what the, the upkeep cost is. Until next time. See ya. Then there is Time Sifter, Gate to the Ether, Knowledge Pool, Omen Path, Wanderous Crucible, then 14 Enchantments, Planar Chaos, Rites of Flourishing, Endless Whispers, Smothering Tithe, Confusion in the Ranks, Possibility Storm, Shared Fate, Conjured Currency, Grip of Chaos, Hive Mind, Wild Invocation, Eye of the Storm, One with a Multiverse, and Omniscience. Then the 32 lands, Azurius Skill Gate, Boulder's Gates, Basilisk Gates, Black Dragon Gates, Boris Gilgate, Casting Cataracts, Citadel Gates, Cliff Gates, Demir Gates, Gateway Plaza, Golgari, Guildgate, Gun Gate, Rule Gates, Heap Gate, Homeward Path, Two Islands, Islet Guildgate, Kier Kept, Manor Gate, Mesa's End, Ractive Skill Gate, Reliquary Tower, Sea Gate, Slesnia, Guildgate, Sigmic Guildgate, Temple of the False Gods, False God, not False Gods, Black Gate, Thespian Stage, Thrain Portal, and Vesuza. Altogether, the stack will cost about $234.18 or 42.39 ticks, which is about, I think about 38, 40 bucks like that on MTG Ow Oh. So, this deck altogether is isn't too bad. I do think it's more of a budget, a not budget, because I know a bunch of the cards are about uh two to ten dollars. The most expensive being Nix Bloom Ancient, Apex Devastator, and Smothering Tithe. Remove that, that's about 80 100 bucks right there, give or take. But I do think this deck overall is a pretty decent budget build. Hopefully, all of you do enjoy the video. I will try to be posting more. Work's just been crazy right now, been also very busy with other stuff, but until next time, I hope all of you enjoyed the video. I will also be leaving a link to my other channel, my gaming channel, login. But until next time, always remember, it's jank, not junk. And always remember the most important thing. A talks true first.